Hello, Nye River students. This is for my and Mr. Wagner's classes. Um, this has to do with your timeline project. So, I know all of you worked really hard on this, and thank you for doing that. I think it was a good exercise in uh, just refreshing our memories from everything we studied in the first nine weeks. So, you should have something that looks like this. You should have five pages, reconstruction, uh, westward expansion, immigration and big business or captains of industry. You should have progressive movement and age of imperialism. And as you can see, I kind of did some of it as demonstrations during class. Yours may be more complete than mine. I would expect it to be actually. But here's what we want to do. I want you to pick well, first of all, show me your work. So just hold it up in your camera. One, two, three, four, five. You don't have to show it in great detail. Just show it to me real quick so that I know you've done it. Then I want you to choose your favorite, choose your favorite um, section of history here. So we have five categories. Again, uh, Reconstruction, Age of Imperialism, Westward Expansion. You pick whichever one of the five that you liked the most or that you felt was most interesting. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick reconstruction for my uh, my favorite category. So I'm gonna hold it up here for you to look at it real quick. Alright. And if you look at our directions here, uh, let's see. I'm picking Reconstruction. Display and discuss your favorite portion of the timeline. Hi. Okay. And then I'm going to go through the things that I have posted on my timeline for Reconstruction. So, my favorite period of history that we studied in the first nine weeks was the Reconstruction period. Here's some of, the, some of the things that I included in my timeline. Okay, so this the timeline runs from 1865 to 1877, 1865 being the very end of the Civil War, and 1877 being the year that Reconstruction ended. So in this time period, from my word bank, I put in the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. And the reason I put those there was that um, those are considered the Reconstruction Amendments. They were passed either right at the end of the Civil War or in those years following the Civil War. So the 13th Amendment um, abolished slavery in our country. The 14th Amendment gave citizenship to all. The 15th Amendment gave voting rights to African American men. And then I also have Robert E. Lee on here. He was an important person during Reconstruction because he wanted the country to be reconciled, wanted the country to reunite and be a one, be one united country again, okay? I have the Freedmen's Bureau here. The Freedmen's Bureau was set up to help former slaves, to help them with jobs and food and land, um, those basic necessities of life. Uh, Frederick Douglass was, was active and working during this time period. He was a great orator, a great speaker. He uh, wanted voting rights for everyone. And he played a big part in lobbying and advocating for the passage of the Reconstruction Amendments. We also had some bad, some bad things come up during Reconstruction, like we talked about. We had Black Codes, which was an effort to keep African Americans in a state of slavery, basically. So that came up during Reconstruction. And then in 1877, Reconstruction ended because federal troops moved back to the north. So they left the south. All of the troops pulled out. After that, things kind of went downhill pretty dramatically, and um, we had things like the Jim Crow laws being passed, which were very discriminatory against African Americans. But I think this is a cool time in our country, and I chose this as my favorite because um, we had just gone through a terrible civil war with uh, thousands and thousands of people killed on both sides, and this was an effort to bring us together again. And thankfully, it did. Um, result in us being one country again, although the, the goals of um, having real equality for all people, that didn't happen during Reconstruction. Okay? 
So that was my favorite part of my timeline. And now students, you'll be doing something very similar to that. This should be a two or three minute recording. Um, again, to show me your timeline, pick your favorite one of the five categories, go through what you put in on your timeline and why. And just kind of do something just, uh, just like what I just spoke to you, okay? That will be it.